Hello everyone, and welcome to my Days of Our Lives 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Days of Our Lives, DOL, spoilers for Tuesday, April 30th reveal that Chad DiMera, Billy Flynn, stopped by Paulina Price's, Jackie Harry, office and mentioned the tip he received about her abusing her power and putting the public's safety at risk. Everett insults Quack Marlena, and John questions memory gaps. Paulina expected the tip came from E.J. DiMera, Dan Furigal, and appeared to be distrustful when Chad demanded he hadn't spoken with his sibling in some time. In any case, Paulina guarded her activities and held fast against Chad's inquiries. Since Chanel DiMera, Raven Bowens, was protected and everybody Paulina uncovered was fine, she behaved that way was all that made a difference. In the town square on Tuesday's Days episode, Stephanie Johnson, Abigail Klein, was astounded and frustrated to see that Sweet Pieces was shut. Johnny DiMera, Carson Boatman, appeared as short while later to explain that he rushed Chanel to the bakery after she slept through her alarm. Chanel ran over to apologize. Despite the fact that Chanel proposed to give Stephanie cakes for her client on the house, Stephanie said she just held up like two minutes and wouldn't fret paying by any means. While Chanel was occupied in sweet pieces, Stephanie let Johnny know that Wendy Shin, Victoria Beauty, and Trip Johnson, Lucas Adams, left for Hong Kong, so Johnny was shocked since Wendy never bid farewell. Johnny then talked to Chanel about the possibility of EJ rethinking his offer to work for DiMera Enterprises. It wasn't Johnny's fantasy, however he believed he really wanted a task and there weren't much of film creating open doors there in Salem. Paulina in the end joined Chanel and Johnny, so she whined about EJ pursuing her through Chad's likely story. After Paulina requested that Johnny set the ball rolling in a good direction for her with Chad and help her with EJ as well, he said he would. With respect to Chanel, she unexpectedly appeared as though she was going to fall over because of weariness. After Chanel felt nauseous next, she ran inside to hurl. When Chanel returned, Johnny called attention to that Chanel was encountering a portion of the radiation-harming cautioning signs that Kayla Johnson, Mary Beth Evans, advised them to pay special attention to. Despite the fact that Chanel wasn't excited about going to the emergency clinic, Johnny and Paulina demanded taking her there immediately. At the bar on Tuesday's DOL show, Marlena Evans, Deidre Lobby, joined Everett Lynch otherwise known as Robert Bobby Stein, Blake Barris, to inquire as to whether he'd altered his perspective on treatment. Everett affirmed he hadn't, so Marlena was confused since Everett said he was stopping treatment and afterward deceived Stephanie by behaving like he'd proceed with it. Everett proposed he simply didn't have any desire to make Marlena look like a quack before Stephanie with all that spellbinding stuff. Marlena recommended Everett could maybe attempt another specialist, yet he wasn't intrigued. On Tuesday's episode of Days, Stephanie went to the spectator with some presents for Chad's kids, giving her a chance to talk to Everett. In spite of the fact that Everett was feeling terrible over the disappointing article he was composing, Stephanie was happy it had nothing to do with marking the legal documents. Everett guaranteed Stephanie that he believed nothing should do with Jada Tracker, Elia Cantu, or even Bobby besides. Everything Everett needed to do was put Bobby behind him and embrace current circumstances, however Stephanie didn't comprehend since she thought Everett was gaining ground in treatment. By the by, Everett was resolved about pushing ahead and gaining new experiences ideally with Stephanie. Chad came back at one point and gave the gifts to the kids, who were excited to see Stephanie soon. Stephanie was available to the thought when Chad proposed she could come mess around with Thomas DiMera, Carrie Christopher, and Charlotte DiMera, Harvest Time Gendron, this end of the week. At the Kiriakis Manor on Tuesday's Days episode, Maggie Kiriakis, Suzanne Rogers, told Julie Williams, Susan Seaforth Hayes, about her wedding to Constantine Melianis, John Capellos, so Julie trusted Maggie was safeguarding herself monetarily. Maggie made sense of about the prenup, so Julie believed that was uplifting news and eventually communicated help since still up in the air to help Constantine. Chad additionally got together with Julie and got her side of the Smith Island story, so Julie appeared to be bothered over Paulina jeopardizing everybody. In John Dark's, Drake Hoechstin, office, Constantine gave the pawn reports on the prenuptial arrangement and maintained that him should break in the Kiriakis protected to take it. Marlena knocked on the door and yelled out to John before Constantine could finish giving orders to the pawn. Constantine showed John the card once more and delivered him once again from his programming days. 
When a confounded John made the way for Marlena, Constantine said he was there to welcome them both to his wedding to Maggie. After Constantine left, John conceded he couldn't actually recall the subtleties of his discussion with Constantine and this wasn't whenever that first had occurred. Marlena proposed perhaps John's cerebrum was shielding him from recollections connected with Constantine, yet he implied about different conceivable outcomes and appeared to be concerned. In spite of the fact that John didn't have the foggiest idea what was happening, he felt bewildered and concurred when Marlena said they ought to get him home. He told himself, back with Constantine, that today wasn't meant to be. Be that as it may, Constantine offered a forecast about getting what he needed some time later. Days of our lives spoilers say Constantine will keep starting mischief, so however he'll ultimately take care of his activities. When Leo spills the beans, what happens when EJ learns a big secret about Jude? Days of our lives spoilers and updates bother EJ DiMera, Dan Ferrarigal, will before long gain proficiency with a significant mystery about Jude Brady, uncast baby. When Greg Rickhart's Leo Stark reveals the truth, what will transpire? Days of our lives spoilers, no more cash, honey DOL spoilers uncover that Leo obvious, Greg Rickard, lucrative mystery abruptly will not be so productive any longer now that Sloan Peterson Brady, Jessica Surfity, is tired of the marriage wreck Leo's causing. Especially after the confrontation with Eric Brady, Greg Vaughn, at the Salem Inn, where she has to explain herself, she will soon announce that she is officially cutting him off. It seems as though that will be essential for why Leo goes to E.J. DiMera, Dan Furigal, and unveils a world-moving mystery. In the week-by-week C video for DOL, it's uncovered that Leo is at long last going to spill the mystery he's been stowing away, and E.J. responds rather brutally. He snatches Leo by the neck and that is the manner by which they uncover all beginnings. DOL spoilers your child is alive! He will reveal that E.J. and Nicole DiMera's, Ariane Zucker, child is alive, yet there's a significant turn in the story that he's uninformed about. While watchers realize that Eric is the genuine dad of Nicole's youngster, Sloan has taken extraordinary measures to hold this data under wraps. After Leo lets the cat out of the bag about the phony reception to E.J., he will rage into Sloan's condo and defy her for removing his child. Nonetheless, Sloan will definitely concede that she manipulated the first DNA test and modified the hereditary report, on the off chance that EJ doesn't really accept that Sloan, she can remind him Nicole had Jude Brady tried. EJ's sample was used for that DNA test, which demonstrated that they were not related, and this was when she suspected he was her baby. Days of our lives spoilers EJ's vengeance you can wager EJ will maintain that Sloan should pay for this and he'll clearly need to facilitate the intolerable aggravation Nicole's felt since the phony death of her child. EJ may before long have doubts about handing off this news to Nicole since Sloan will contend that once they find they have a kid together, they will not have the option to oppose accommodating. EJ finds it difficult to reject Sloan's suggestion because he has witnessed the undeniable bond that exists between Eric and Nicole on numerous occasions. The chance of there being a reality to Sloane's words may very well lull EJ's choice to admit everything to Nicole. Given that this child does not come from a DiMera family, EJ may find it impossible to imagine life without Nicole. DOL spoilers agonizing frustration EJ will be frustrated over the paternity stunner and may contemplate whether he ought to explode his life over a youngster that isn't even his. At the end of the day, EJ might choose to simply sit on the mystery and safeguard his marriage Leo could acquire another type of revenue assuming that EJ pays him to stay silent. Our expectations recommend EJ will conceal what he's realized yet harm his own marriage simultaneously, believing he's safeguarding his relationship with this concealment. Actually, it very well may be the very thing that destroys it once Nicole unavoidably figures out reality in any case. Leo's mysterious spillage will start off more difficulty in Salem, so stay with us for refreshes on all the Jude pandemonium.